the heck did they shoot that? It's like it blows your mind it just does to blow watch your mind. it. I feel like when Ernest watches a video, he's like, I know exactly how they make that video. 98% of the time, that's true. But then every now and then, videos like these slip through. <laughs> So you see everything, right? But what you don't see is the mount. Right. So you're just sort of floating there in the, in the air and that's the part that's so hard to figure out. I thought it was maybe like a Google Street View type of camera or something else like that. This guy, Jonas Ginter, is a young dude. He's a journalist, he's a photographer. He basically wanted to find a way to create a 360 spherical video using GoPro cameras and it looks like he did it. The coolest part is that it ends up looking like a little planet like in the middle of the solar system. Like Super Mario Galaxy. It does kind of look like Super Mario Galaxy. All you need is six cameras that record 360 degrees horizontally and vertically 180 degrees. And bada bing, bada boom, guys, you could be riding on a planet of your own. When I closed my eyes, it was all the same. But I woke up fast and the world had changed. There was no more pain, no ground to gain. Just all my friends in the wonder plane. So this is Devin Supertramp. Devin Supertramp is known for making awesome, amazing videos. He's a great filmmaker. And in this one, he just goes and hangs out in a park with dogs. It's the ultimate dream. I thought they were going to be like dodging bullets. Look how cute they are. Where are the bullets? They're so fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see all the leaves on another road. Did they get the Wachowski brothers to make this? How did they do that? I think they actually just have a time machine and they freeze it. How do they really shoot it if that's not They shot it with 52 GoPros. He uses two different setups. He uses the eight foot circle and the straight line array. That's how they shoot that? Myth uh, busted. Super tramp. All right, Miles, we're about to watch a video of a man walking backwards throughout Tokyo in reverse. So this is uh, the channel of Simon Buisson, who is this guy that you see walking around uh, in Tokyo. He actually took dance classes to make his walking backwards look more natural. This looks like it's all kind of in one area of Tokyo, like the Shibuya Harajuku area. Yeah, so it took nine hours to film all of this. What do you think he's thinking when he goes, you know what I want to do? I want to walk around Japan backwards but make everybody else look like they're walking. Yeah, backwards. I think he thinks, I want to mess up Allie and Miles in the head. If and everybody, and, and everybody I else. I wish I was that much of a narcissist to think <laughs> every YouTube video is made for me. Thank you, YouTube. Welcome to the Serengeti, or as I called it as a kid, the spaghetti. But how did they get these shots, you ask? The photographer, Will Berard Lucas, made this. He wanted to get up above things so that he could get better footage, but he didn't have a helicopter. What do you do? Beetlecopter. You make your own. The best part about it, helicopter, super loud. Drone, incredibly quiet. So he can fly this like right up to the animals before they realize what the hell is going on. Yeah, whenever someone asks me what my power animal is, I always close my eyes and it appears somewhere in a group like this. What is your power animal? It's actually a giraffe, which is the first one that came up. Can you imagine riding a giraffe? No, that was so cool. Oh. Crazy videos, crazy camera tricks. This is next level. It's from Japan and it's called Fumakai. Okay. And it's basically, just strap your brain on because it's about to blow off. How do you think they did this? I don't know if she's sort of controlling what's happening or if she's just really well rehearsed to sync up with the, yeah. like, sort of like the movie that's playing behind Right, her. right, right. They're basically perfectly synchronized with these video projections, yeah, to make it look like they are actually manipulating it, when in fact, it's just a lot of hard work on their part. Yeah. It was actually directed by a guy named Nobuyuki Hanabusa. We don't always need camera tricks to yeah. sort of pull off really insane imagery. Sometimes it just takes a lot of hard work and choreography, and when you sync those things up, you have equally as mind-blowing imagery like the last videos we saw, too. If you didn't need us to explain how those videos were made, you're a genius or you're earnest and you're just sitting at home watching this episode over again. And uh, you can continue to have your mind blown by these videos by watching them in their entirety in the playlist after the show. Also, we're gonna have a second playlist and this is gonna be filled with all the videos that you guys said were mind blowing to you. Now play us out. Ting Tings! I ain't freaking, I